Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mother 3, episode 15. In this episode, we'll be finishing off chapter 4, and defeating that hard boss I've been talking about. And before we get started, let me just show you, just so you're aware. I did do quite a lot of grinding off camera. I apologize for that, but I just really want to be prepared. So Lucas and Boney are both level 20. That should prepare us enough. Hopefully. And after I said that, I ended up going around in a giant circle around the whole dungeon, accomplishing absolutely nothing. So I decided to edit that out and skip to when I actually realized how to find the boss. Okay, I'm back. I managed to avoid all the enemy encounters on my way here. So yeah, here's my first attempt at the hardest boss in the game, probably. Jealous Base. As you can plainly see, I am a wooden base. I'm still in my prime. Ever since that base below showed up, I've been left to rot in this moldy-smelling attic. I'm filled with so much frustration. I'm gonna turn this frustration into violence and take my stress out on you guys. You're gonna be bawling your eyes out. Okay, here we go. This is... let's see, where do I even start with this? Should I... No, you definitely want to take... Yeah, PK Love. So we can take out these guys. You definitely want to take out his little instrument friends first. Because he can do this. It's crazy. Oops, that didn't take him out. Okay, we're looking kind of rough right now. We're going to have to heal. Oh, Boney's already dead. Great. And I already lost. Yeah, I wasn't lying when I said this boss was hard. But yeah, I'll see you once I finally beat it. Okay, this time I'm going to try something else. Let's give Boney the bombs. Oops. Let's give him all the sprinting bombs. Oh, I only have two. That's actually not good. Um, okay, we should probably plan this out beforehand. I say we should just use PK Love at the beginning. No, we'll use Defense Up at the beginning on Boney. Then Boney will throw a Sprinting Bomb, and we'll do that twice. Then we'll heal, and then we'll take on the base. Because Boney always ends up dying before Lucas, so I think we should buff him up first. So we'll do Defense Up on Boney. Then we'll do Sprinting Bomb on these guys. Actually, I probably should use PK Love instead. Okay, we'll actually do life up. Okay. Wow, the drum's still alive. Can't do as much as he was doing before. So we'll heal again. And then we'll go... Alright, now he can't do a jam session attack anymore. But now his offense is super high. But that means he doesn't attack this turn, so we can wait for our HP to go up, which is great. Hmm. Well, that's going up, let me think. Should I buff myself up first? I mean, I've got a lot of healing items, so I should probably just keep buffing myself up. So we'll use Defense Up on Lucas. And Boney doesn't really have a choice, so we'll just have him attack. We'll increase my defense again. See how many times I can do that. And we'll heal Boney again. Even though he does more damage now, it's a lot less dangerous since he doesn't have, like... He can't do as many attacks in one turn. Okay, come on. Now 
Now we'll give... I don't know if Boney likes cheese. I need to get better at comboing this theme. Okay, now we'll use PK Love. I'm off to heal again. Lucas might die now. Actually, no, because I healed him. Oh, he missed. Oh, I beat him! Let's go! That was only my third try, I think. Oh, that feels so good. That, that boss is ridiculously hard. I'm so glad I finally beat him. Even with all that grinding, he was still a huge pain. Especially with those other instruments. I think he's the only fight that, or he's the only boss that has allies with him. So we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is good. There's a hole here. Looks like you can jump down from it. Try jumping down? Yeah, let's go. I'm in a good mood now. You can hear the music here is kind of familiar if you played Earthbound. What took you so long? Anyways, I just finished explaining everything to the band members. Well, let's go talk to them. Oh man, what to do? Ooh. We're discussing things right now. Let's talk to Duster last. Tandagasa. So you're the one trying to run off with Lucky? Tandagasa. Who are you? He's the one I was talking about just now, Duster. You two know each other. Duster? It's true that I don't even remember my real name. But I've lived my life as Lucky for years now. Okay. Alright, Lucky. I hate to ask, but could you tell him everything you remember too? Yeah, alright. I can definitely tell that something very important is taking place here. I had absolutely no memory whatsoever from before I came to Club Titty Boo. I had no idea who I was, where I came from, or where I was going. For some reason, I was clutching a strange egg with great care. I don't know where I was going, yet I continued to walk desperately. All I knew was that the egg was really important for some reason. I knew I absolutely had to keep it safe. So I looked for a place to hide it. And then, after walking and walking, I buried the egg inside a big dirt clod in a valley where I knew no one would ever find it. I still know where it is, I haven't forgotten. You go up a cliff near a giant waterfall and... Unknown Valley? That's it, Duster. The egg we all work so hard to, or the egg we we all work so hard to protect is there. Let's go there right now. But am I really Duster? If I am this Duster person, that means I'll have to leave the band, right? Duster or Lucky, one of them will cease to exist after today, right? If it turns out I'm Duster, what happens to the DCMC? But if I can continue to live as Lucky, then what was that egg thing all about? What should I do? I just can't decide. Of course you can't. All you can do is ask Destiny. Yeah. If Destiny decides it, I'll say goodbye to you with a smile on my face. Destiny, huh? Yeah, let's ask Destiny. We have a way. The same thing we've always done whenever we weren't sure what to do. Stone sheet clippers, huh? So we're going to play a game of rock, paper, scissors over it? Yep, this Lucas fellow will play stone sheet clippers with us. If he beats all five of us in a row, he'll go. But if he loses even once, you'll stay in the DCMC and keep on playing the bass. How's that sound? Five in a row, huh? I'm cool with that. You there. You're okay with that, right? Okay, well, we're ready to begin whenever you are. You can start with any one of us. Alright, we'll start with you. Whenever me, Magic, and Bachio play Stone Sheet Clippers, we always end up in a tie. Maybe the last one to go. After all, I am the band leader. For the most part, everyone always does a specific move first when playing the game. That explains why Bachio loses the magic. You ready to go? Yep. Okay, here it goes. Stone Sheet Clippers. 
I lose. I lose with pizzazz. Shimmy almost always starts with stone. It's up to you to, to believe that or not, though. Ready to go? Yep. Uh. Okay. Well, we know he always does scissors. I lose. Luck is with you. I always wind up trying... Wait. I always wind up tying whenever I play Stone Sheep Clippers with Shimmy. Alright, let's do this thing. Oh, no, he used... Okay, yeah, I beat him. I seem to recall that whenever me, Magic, and our band leader play Stone Sheep Clippers, we always wind up in a tie. Ready to go? Is it best if I win? No, I'll leave that up to Destiny. Stone Sheep Clippers. Okay, I'll try that again. Looks like I lose. I guess Destiny's telling me to lose. You ready? Alright. If I win this, Lucky will stay in the DCMC. If you win, Lucky will go with you. Lucky, you cool with that? I want to trust in Destiny. If it's my Destiny to go, then I'm sure he'll win. And if it's not my Destiny, he'll lose and I'll stay here. It's as simple as that. Okay then, Lucas, do clippers. I'm going to do sheet. Tandagasa. Alright. That was strange. We got voice acting. I see. So this is Destiny. I guess Lucky probably is this duster guy after all. Go. Don't worry about anything else at all. I think Duster hid the egg in Unknown Valley. Which means I have no reason to stay here either. Alright, time to get out of these girl clothes. Thanks for everything, guys. Take care now. Out of my way, damn it. Wow. Okay. Lucky. No, Duster, I guess. You were the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. Hope you meet again someday. I'm sure we will. Don't go forgetting the time you spent with us now, you dig? Lucky. I still don't remember anything, but I'll come with you guys anyway. Okay, let's go. Alright, Duster's back in the party. Let's go save. I love how everyone's still in their little costume disguise things. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to next froggy meet. I took care of the bodyguards. Let's go. Alright, and Kumator is back in our party too. We had a full party of four. Probably the first time this game, I think. First time this file. Alright, let's get out of here. And unlock the door. What is it? There's someone on the stage. Oh, there they go. Looks like they got another song for us. Bon voyage, amigo. Oh, guy in the sky, please grant a gift to our friend who's about to set out. How much time he wasted laughing together. But guy in the sky, oh, how he loved that wasted time and those helpless smiles. Bon voyage. Bon voyage, amigo. goes. Lucky is no more.
Pondergasse. Thanks, guys. Try to keep you waiting. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Unknown Valley. Alright, I forgot about that carrier pigeon. It's the whole reason he came here. And that's it for chapter four. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See ya.